foods, if you're eating you know, meat, dairy, saturated fats, if you're following a diet that tells you to eat bone broth, that is not where it's at. Not only does it not have fiber, but you're encouraging the growth of bacteria that are going to increase your risk for disease. Have you heard the recent news that fiber might be the cure for lupus? Who's shocked? Not me, but maybe you are. Maybe you've had people tell you that you should be eating meat in order to heal your gut and get healthy again. Guess what has no fiber? Meat. But what does have fiber? Leafy green vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, all the stuff I've been telling you to eat. Here's what the study says. The study was looking at the mouse model of lupus, which is what all the studies are looking at. And what they found was there's a particular type of bacteria that when it reproduces itself, it triggers the autoimmune disease in mice. And there's a lot of data now indicating that the gut and the bacteria that live in our guts is one of the main triggers for our diseases. So what they found was when they feed these mice super high fiber diets, the fiber actually stops that bacteria from being able to reproduce itself. And in addition to that, it interferes with every single step of the pathway of how that bacteria starts to propagate itself into the body to cause the disease. Fiber stops the development of autoimmune disease in mice and likely in people as well. So again, meat, no fiber at all. You wanna eat your vegetables and that's where it's going to be at. Now it makes sense, right? When I put people on super high vegetable diets, raw vegetables, we're focusing on cruciferous veggies and leafy greens because they have the most nutrients. They're also super high in fiber. And that's one of the ways that is benefiting people and helping them rapidly reverse their disease. Now, this is not the first study that has shown that animal products are not the answer. Scientific American has done another study where they were looking at what happens when you expose the gut to saturated fat. And what they found is it causes an inflammatory reaction, triggers the immune system and causes autoimmune disease that could cause colitis and other autoimmune diseases. There's another study done that now confirms that the reason people get heart attacks is not just because of genetics, it's because when you eat a high meat diet, you encourage the growth of bacteria in your gut that release TMAO, which tells your body to put plaques in your arteries. People who have eaten vegan for a year or more, they don't have those bacteria in their gut because they haven't fed them. Those bacteria don't like the food in the vegan diet and they don't produce TMAO, therefore preventing them from having heart attacks, which is the number one killer of people in the US and many other countries. What we're understanding now more than ever is what's in your gut is the key to your disease and the bacteria that live there need to be fed the ones that enjoy your diet are the ones that live so if you're eating animal products if you're eating you know meat dairy saturated fats if you're following a diet that tells you to eat bone broth that is not where it's at not only does it not have fiber but you're encouraging the growth of bacteria that are going to increase your risk for disease by the way people with a lupus and with lupus and other autoimmune diseases have a much higher risk of heart attack than the general population. Meat should be off the menu for you. Don't believe anyone who tells you otherwise. I have also had clients I talked about in a recent video that some people have been arguing with me, but you can't argue with the facts. Did a recent video on how paleo and ketogenic diets are causing disease in people who are coming for my help. And one woman in, in particular that I talked about, she went on a paleo diet where she didn't eat vegetables. And I know that some of you say you're supposed to eat some vegetables. Some people eat them, some people don't. She was eating a ton of meat and that was specifically chicken and eggs every day. And she developed lupus for the first time in her life. Makes sense, right? Because she didn't have any fiber in her diet. So, you know, the data coming out from all the research that's going on in genetic and cellular research is only supporting what we've been seeing in our clients for a decade now. And what I saw in myself when I reversed my own lupus 14 years ago is that when you switch to a high raw, fiber dense, nutrient dense, vegan diet, you will get your health back, whether it's from autoimmune disease or heart disease, diabetes, or whatever else that ails you. Plant-based is the path towards the best health possible.